Hello. Hey. And uh, welcome to the Welcome to My Bed video blog. We haven't done this in a while. Yeah, new treehouse edition. Um, you yeah, notice. welcome to the poet tree. This is our lime green kitchen. Um, and our stove with our tea kettle on it, and mm -hmm. some olive oil, yeah. and some plastic drink cups, and a shaker, and some <laughs> Please don't lean any farther. You're gonna fall on your chair. I'm not actually gonna fall. It's fine. We had, oh, we have already had a serious mishap tonight. It was... I don't, how do we begin telling this story well, of what just happened to us? it started out as being like, absolutely terrifying and also hysterical simultaneously <laughs> because we all get out of the car yeah. on our way back from the canton. Yeah, and I start going up the stairs, like, we have, like, outside stairs that come to our apartment, and the light switch is, like, a couple steps up the stairs. Which is not normally a big deal. Yeah, so I open the door and I start going upstairs, blah, 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 stairs, and I run into what looks like just, like, a disembodied pair of pair of pants. Disembodied pants. Which makes <laughs> like, no sense. Like, that's what like, I, how I originally articulated it. to a body. Yeah. So, like, it really just does not make any yeah. sense. And that's just how I originally articulated it. Now that's, like, all I And now that's about the only phrase that we can assign to this I was event. so freaked out. So like, I, like, shrieked a little. She did. She screamed, and then she ran out into the parking lot behind our house, or, like, the lot of dirt that we have to yeah. park in. And, um... Me and Christina are walking over and we're like, oh my god, what's going on? Like, I thought there was, like, a burglar or something, really, like, or somebody jumped out at her. Or, like, I just was, like, didn't know what the She fuck had was no going idea on. what was happening, so she runs out and It, like, like, felt like running up. into a person. They, like, were, they, like, they were stuffed with, with like, chicken wire. They were stuffed with, as we later found out. As we later found out, they were stuffed with chicken wire, so they felt resistant when she hit into them, and it was weird. Mm -hmm. And Christina and I are like, they're, what, pants? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, a person I, like, bent over wearing pants? <laughs> she, like, <laughs> couldn't <laughs> articulate what? What she had experienced. So I was, I was like, I mean, I don't really want to go over there if you're that freaked out. And she's like, oh my god, I just, I can't, I can't do it. Can we go up the kitchen stairs? And I'm like, I don't know, like, that's still over there. Like, like you have to walk past, to walk the, past stairs the actual to get to the stairs to get to the kitchen stairs. Which are like stairs. weird and overgrown. It doesn't really back. make sense. There's lots of ivy on them. And then, so we, all three of us were like, this is terrifying. We're going to go get in the car. And so we get in the car and like lock the doors turn on the lights and like decide we need to call some guy friend to come over and like help us get into our house because we were afraid of like what that was we didn't know if yeah. it was a person like waiting to rob us or like some like fucked up prank yeah. or like whatever so we call our friend kevin doesn't answer the phone we call wayne we call wayne beach answer. wayne beach doesn't answer the phone we call georgie <laughs> who didn't answer the phone katie, katie. Andy answered the phone and was just like, dude, I can't really ride my bike over in the rain right now, <laughs> so... He had no idea what I was talking about. Like, like I really <laughs> can't even understand what you're saying, so... Yeah, he was pretty much in the same state that we are now in. Mm hmm But, and he just... And I was like, no, don't ride your bike over here in the rain. Like, I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. So, we so go to Christina's car and get her club. <laughs> and which she keeps in her trunk. We make her walk over first and then I'm behind her with a flashlight and then Cass is behind me like chewing on her hand <laughs> and like, then like it was just too intense for everyone so we get over there and Christina has the club and I have the flashlight and we're all looking and as Christina said when we were coming over from the car she's like I feel like Lucy and Ethel right now and I was like I mean the hair appropriate <laughs> um we get over there and it's just a pair of children's jeans stuffed with chicken wire. Yeah, just propped just up on propped our steps. up underneath the light plate. No reason. We think it was our neighbor. We think it was our downstairs so neighbor. So I left them wedged in the ski racks of his car. Which is the only way to retaliate, really. <laughs> really. Like, it was right there. We could have propped them up against his door, because the screen door was open. Yeah. That yeah. wouldn't have been as effective, I feel. It was not original enough. Ski rack, good call. I figured. Yeah, so that's that's one of the major things yeah. that have so occurred tonight. So if it wasn't tonight. him... We're freaking someone else out, mm -hmm. which is legit. That's not finding pants in your ski rack on in broad daylight is not as scary as running into pants on the darkened steps alone. Disembodied pants. Disembodied pants. <laughs> um, you know what I think? Um, oh, I just forgot my train of thought. I'm not sure. I hate what when that happens. Was. <laughs> Should we just go? No, I mean there are other things to be spoken about, like. We had our first team practice the other day, and I think it went really well. Not really I'm, well. like, super I'm really excited for nationals. For this and, like, we just keep seeing people feature places, like the Cantab, and being like, oh, man, they're going to be at nationals. We get to hang out with them again. Like, this is really cool. We're, like, meeting all the people we're going to get to go out and drink with after bouts when we're in St. Paul and, like, 
Like, I'm so psyched on like, St. Paul. I've never been there, but my favorite band in the entire world, its original incarnation, existed there. Lifter Puller. Yeah, Lifter Puller, which, which became the whole less study. vague than what she just said. <laughs> I don't know. Because that was pretty That was vague. pretty fucking big. Lifter Puller, which became the whole study. Craig Finn is the frontman for both. He's a, he's a fucking lyrical genius, and I love him. He's an amazing storyteller. I really, really appreciate great. His music. Yeah, like, I took her to see them live the a couple welcome. months ago. Oh, it was a great and concert. And it was so good. We had a fucking fantastic time at that show. Mm-hmm. It was at Pearl Street in Northampton. Um, and I was just like, I've never been super into the whole study, but like I've always liked them. And so Cass is like, fucking, that man is my favorite man ever. <laughs> like, I love him. We have to, we have to go see this band. Like, this is important. And so I was like, I'll go. Totally. And I just got a job. We bought tickets. And, like, went. It was a great fucking experience. I had a fantastic time. Yeah, like, he's, like... It was unbelievable. He's clearly just so passionate about what he's doing and so happy to be doing it. Like, so, like, ecstatic. Even happy. when he's singing a sad song, he's yeah. just grinning. Yeah, he's just, he's like, like, so... I'm ha- just... I love he's the like, audience. He's the dream. He's he really the dream. is. Living and the like, dream is what it's Having about. that much joy in what you do is, like, something that's, like, so important in life. And, like, so many people strive for that. And, like, he's achieved that by being an amazing songwriter. And Which is, like, so what do you good. want? The integrity of your art to make you successful. That's mm-hmm. what I want, anyway. I don't know about y'all. I agree with that statement. I think it's important. We've been having a lot of conversations about art and about things that we want to write about lately. And big concepts like religion and humanity and godhood and like like just and like, minutia of the titanic disaster yeah and also um, looking at uh nerd. like random pictures of various features of the titanic um i've been reading this book by a swedish author named stieg larsson it's a bestseller you might have heard of it it also became a movie um it's called the girl with the dragon tattoo and I read the first chapter and recommended it to my dad, who has just called me yesterday and was like, Word! That book was amazing! Like, it's so funny to be reading something and have a character in it that reminds me so much of you. And I was like, Dad, what are you talking about? And he's like, he's like, what, it, like, Lisbeth's, uh, like, Salander. And I was like, dude, I haven't read past the first chapter yet. Like, don't tell me this shit. And he's like, oh, okay, well, you have to read it and then we'll talk. And I was just like... Aw, Dad, like, you're so cute right now. And it made me really happy. And I, I, like, haven't had time to read in forever, so I went out this morning and read at the coffee shop and then wrote for a while. Um, went over and bought a couple more books, because I can't have a day off without buying books. That's how I know I'm, like, out of sorts. <laughs> God, I love books. I've been going to the UMass Amherst Library. To get books because it's like really close to our house. Even in the summer, and we're super studious. Hampshire students can check out books there. That library is so fucking weird. There's like one bank of elevators that only goes up from the lobby, and one bank that only goes down. And like the building is apparently so poorly constructed, like it's this huge, giant, towering building, and they can't even have books on all the floors because that would be too much weight for the building. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like, really planned well at all. It's and it's just like incredibly like weird and large and unpleasant to be in. I've never been there, actually. I've, I've stood next to it. But you're not really supposed to stand close because bricks fall out of it all the time because of the pressure that the books place on the structure. It's, like, it's like so fucking crazy. It's, like, like a, even, it's, it's like more it should structurally be, unsound than Greenwich. It should, yeah. Our That's previous treehouse cool. locale. Yeah, we're, we're not really known for picking residences that are entirely normal. Sound. This, this house um, looks like a summer camp. Yeah. In terms of, like, the wood paneling in the living room and in Cass's room. Like, it's, like, painted white, but yeah. it looks like cabin walls. I and mean, then, and we just apparently got into a prank war with our neighbors. So, which like, is what just the like, fuck? How is this real? Like, we we're just, in like, a we're very quiet old ladies. Movie. We, like, have the Book of Mormon in our kitchen. And I like, like to highlight every time something comes to pass. Have, like, yellow roses on the counter. Two different kinds of adobo seasonings, <laughs> which were not ours, by the way. Yeah. Sophia bought like so much adobo and like <laughs> went home to New York without taking most of her shit out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we should wrap this one up. Should we? No, oh, it's almost there. ten minutes. Yeah. So I'd say I'd say it's time to say goodnight. Yes. 
So uh, watch out for the pants on all of your stairs. We gotcha.